subject class now. Are you ready to go? Are you ready to get head down? We are ready to go. The date was predetermined. It's time to go. The guys are ready. If I'm speaking for them, of course they're ready. Back it up with some actions. What goes into this week and a half between the qualifier and the national tournament? Fine tune, fine tune, fine tune, probably. Um, you know, there's healing that goes on. You know, the things that are external that don't factor in have to stay out there. Um, the things that you can control that are positive, you got to keep them front and center. Um, you know, we got some, I mean, in this sport and in life and sports in general, you always have some things that ail you, um, but that's on the outside. You can control what's going on, how you face those things and react to them. One thing about Bill Woods, it always seems like he's very calm and collected, uh, unfazed of, you know, how things are going in a match or a tournament. How does that help him, you know, coming to, you know, the NCAAs and how does that benefit him? He's a cool customer. That's how he operates. Um, he's a handful. Uh, we just got to keep him wrestling for the full seven minutes. And, you know, sometimes it's not like a gas tank issue or an energy issue. It's just like, um, you know, you're up 7-0 with four minutes to go. You know, the match isn't over. And you got to keep your foot in that gas. So um, we don't want him too calm, but you want him in that balance. But you're right. He's a cool customer. Uh, but, you know, keep building. Keep doing the things that you do well, scoring-wise, et cetera. Is that so, I mean, obviously, it's probably something you've talked to him about. I mean, you stress, hey, this, you've got to go the whole way. Yeah, I think he knows that, you know, here's the thing. There's conversations every day with these guys, as you know, and he knows that you have to keep your foot on the gas. Kelsey. 125 has been you know, really topsy-turvy and unpredictable. Uh, Drake comes in as the number three seed. That, uh, the way the weight has kind of gone with anybody winning, um, does that heighten his focus, knowing, hey, I've got to take each match, uh, you know, at a high level? Or does that, you know, kind of increase his confidence knowing that, hey, this is wide open for me? I don't think it's about increasing confidence. I think he's a pretty confident competitor. I think he earned his spot there. Um, you know, he had a match that didn't go his way and put together a pretty good backside of the tournament. You don't want to be there, but you make the most of it. Um, it is about setting yourself up in the best possible position um, with that postseason seeding. Um, we're at the end, and he did his job to get himself best position. Still got to wrestle the tournament, um, and it really doesn't matter where your where your position is. You you do your job at the time you're doing your job. Get positioned the best you can, and then hey, you got to perform. So, I know uh, I know he's a super competitor. That's what I know about him. What do you take away from the Big Tens and, and as you get ready for this? Um, I think earlier the question was asked a little bit about you know what happens between that. It's it's another evaluation. It's another competition. It's a big deal. It's a conference championship. Um, it's also a qualifier. It's a big deal that way. Um, and you just go forward. And as you're going into the most important part of the year, um, which is the postseason Big Tens and Nationals, and now you're at the most important part of the most important part of the year, and that is the NCAA tournament. Um, and what you take from each experience, you know, adds up. And it's the things that you can control, the lessons that stay with you um, that are going to catapult you into um, being the national champion um, or being in the best possible position on that stand that you can be. And sometimes in life, it's hard for a lesson to stay with you. Um, sometimes we forget. Um, this is not the time of year to forget those lessons. We want to be better. We want to be making progress. 
we want those lessons to stay with us. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Amy,